How to pick files from the device's storage via a native file picker. After it, we will open these files internally within our own Flutter app or externally with other native applications to display PDF files, video files, music files and images from the local phone storage. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. We will use the file picker package for picking any files from the phone storage. Let's get started with this elevated button pick file that you see here on the right side. And if we press on this button, then we want to call here on our file picker from this package, the method pick files. With this, if I press on this button, then we have here all the files from our phone storage and we can basically pick here a file. In case we pick here no file, then it returns here as our result null and then we don't want to handle this case. However, if this result is not null, then we have picked here a file from the right side. And in our case, we simply want to open this file up. Therefore, we get first of all from the results one specific file that we have chosen. And then we open this file up inside of a new method. And therefore, we can use here this package open file to open this file up. And to make use of this file picker and also open file package, you need to go to your pubspec YAML file. And here under your dependencies, you need to include then the file picker and open file package. Let's also try it out. If I click here on this image, then he opens the image up in the gallery. If I choose here a PDF document, then he also opens this PDF document here up in our UI. And the same also works if you choose a video. Then he is playing the video with the help of a native app on the phone. And you could also select here music and then he is starting to play the music here at the top and you can even change it if you like. In general, from the file that is selected through the file picker, you can access some data. So let's try it out. I select here one image. And now you can see here the name, the extension and the size of the file that you have picked. On Flutter Web, you will get here some bytes returned and on all other platforms, you have the path to the file itself. And as you notice, the path is stored inside of a cache folder. And this means if you restart your application, then this cache is deleted and you wouldn't have any access to this file anymore. Therefore, we want to save our cached file permanently and therefore I create a new method where I put the file inside. And inside of this new method, we get first of all the app storage where we can save our file. Secondly, we create then based on this app storage, our new location. So this is the directory. And secondly, we also define here the name of the file where we want to store it. And lastly, we want to copy here this cached file inside of our new file. And we also return it, so we return here a file that we can basically await here. So this is the new file where we have stored our cached file inside. And lastly, let's print the old file and also the new file as a path inside of the console. And with this, if we select our file, then our cached file is copied to this new path, which we can use permanently even if we restart our application. Next, you can use your file picker to also pick multiple files. Therefore, you need to set here this flag to true. And now we also want to open these files. Therefore, we access here this time all files. And I create a new method open files. And here inside, we navigate then to a new page that I have created where I put then all the files inside. As a result, I can click on this button and we can select here multiple files. When you have finished with the selection, you click on select. And now I display here all these selected files inside of this files page that I have created. So I have created here this file page and inside of the build method, I create a grid view so that we display here our files. And each of the files that we display here is inside of this build file method, where I basically determine first of all the file size that is here then displayed. So sometimes we have megabytes, sometimes we have kilobytes. Next to the size, we also get the extension, what we also have looked at before. And all of this information, I basically display then in some text widgets under each other. So we display the file name here and also the file size. We also can click on one file, in this case, the PDF document, and this will then open it up. And this is because I have implemented here this on tab handler. And then we basically call the open file package to open our file. 
Let's also go back into the main file and let's look at the pick files method where we can implement some custom types. So here with this allowed extensions you can define that only PDF documents and MP4 files can be opened. Let's also try it out. If I open the file picker, then you see we can only select here the documents PDF and also here we can select the MP4 videos. However, we cannot select here any other files. You also have here some convenient types. So you can select here audio, image, media and video. So let's select here for example video. As a result, if I open the file picker, then we can only select here video files inside of our file picker. And finally, next to Android, you can also run your file picker on iOS and also on Flutter web and desktop. For Flutter web, everything works fine. So you don't need to configure here anything. For Flutter desktop, you need to run here one of these commands inside of your Flutter project, depending on your platform. For Android, the debug build should run fine with the file picker. However, if you have a release build, then you need to take care about these extra steps. And finally, for iOS, you only need to make sure that you have inside of your pod file this use frameworks. So go within the iOS folder to your pod file and here you need to make sure that you have this use frameworks inside. For iOS, you can also add here some optional permissions and this is especially needed if you use here the file type any custom or if you use file type audio, if you use file type video and file type image. If you use here one of these file types in your file picker, then you can simply copy here the code. Go here to your info plist file and here you scroll all the way down and then you simply paste here this key value pair inside. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.